Hi guys, Amanda here, and thankful you're joining me as always uh, for another process video in my ESV interleaved journaling Bible. Um, I'm going to link a similar Bible down below if you're looking for an interleaved Bible. There is a full blank page in between each page of your Bible. So it's really fun to create on there and it gives you a little bit more space. I had a, this idea of wanting to do um, a pocket full of prayers. I just wanted a spot where I could tuck away little personal prayers um, with a hidden spot in my Bible. So I decided to pull out one of my little library pockets that I had um, from a super, super old kit. Um, but I know that you can order these types of library card pockets um, even on Amazon and get that into my Bible, and it'll fit a standard journaling card. So that's what I'm gonna to use today, along with a variety of paints. I used the color Heather, Cherry Blossom, and then I also used the color Shell, and those are all from the Handmade Modern Collection at Target. And then I just had um, a darker maroon color um, from in my acrylic paints that I just had in my stash that I used because it kind of matched the polka dots on the card a little bit better and kind of brought out that darker color. So I just decided to kind of put that as a background to my pocket. And then I'm going to reach for my From Where I Stand alphas. Um, they're in the Illustrated Faith shop. I believe they're still available. You can go to illustratedfaith.com and check that out. But I'm going to stamp the word amen off to, on a scratch piece of paper. And then I'm just going to cut that out and that's just going to go on the outside of my pocket. I definitely wanted to layer it with a type of either a floral or a heart printable. Um, so I was able to reach for the um, one heart, one line printables from Elaine Davis, also in the Illustrated Faith Print Pray Shop. And I have that printed on, you know, my favorite paper, the clear sticker paper, but I'm actually going to cut it out and peel back the adhesive and just stick it on a scrap piece of cardstock, the same cardstock that I stamped the Amen on. And then from there, I'm able to cut it out and then it's like a die cut as opposed to a sticker, which is going to be perfect for what I need it for on this pocket. As a typical practice, I print almost all of my printables except for journaling cards on the clear sticker paper because then I know that I can turn them into a die cut if I need to just by doing that little card the cardstock trick so that's how um, I kind of get the most use out of my printables is that I print them on the sticker paper because I know that it's easier to turn them into a die cut from there so I'm just kind of putting that together and I knew I wanted to kind of layer it with some texture with some thread that I just had on hand. I used a variety of colors and I'm just going to use um, my little Tim Holtz tiny paper clip um, as a holder for the top of the pocket. So I can either have that paper clip shut or I can have it open. And I'm just gonna make sure that my letters for on the top of my title that it's not going to get covered if the flap is open. I'm gonna get all of my stuff put down on my pocket, um, either with my tiny attacher to get the yarn on there um, stapled to the amen. And then from there, I'm gonna use my tape adhesive to put it on the pocket itself. So right now I'm just kind of figuring out how I want to put my title. I know I'm for sure going to use the arrow stamp from the Wholehearted Devotional Kit. Unfortunately, I don't think it is available on Illustrated Faith anymore. The stamp set might still be available, but I believe the kit is sold out. And I'm using the Top Knots Alpha from Illustrated Faith. Um, it is sold out, but they are going to be restocking it. So if you love these alphas like I do, make sure that you keep your eye out for when they restock. Um, you can follow them on Instagram and they always let you know when the restock is coming. 
and you can see there I've got the word prayers. I wanted to kind of start from the bottom and then work my way up. So I knew that when my little flap was open that it wouldn't cover up any part of the word prayers and then it was able to give me an idea of where my arrow was going to go from there. Now I'm just um, inking up my stamps to create the word pocket. So my title will read pocket prayers and then it will have the little arrow on there. From what I could tell these types of pockets will hold standard journaling cards. So the ones that I got from the Illustrated Faith Shop and then um, any standard card that you, you can even cut them down to if they end up being a little bit too wide or too tall. But um, I plan on kind of running the journaling cards through my typewriter, doing some handwritten prayers, just getting um, some intimate things down and still have them available in my Bible, but just in a little bit more of a private way between me and God. So if this is something that you are wanting to try out, go ahead and give it a try. Um, if you do it and you post it, make sure you tag me on Instagram at Row Writes. I'd love to see what you guys try and um, how your little pockets of prayers turn out. Thank you guys for joining me and I will see you guys very soon. Bye!